All right, so our job in this video is to compare these fractions uh, to find out if they're equal or if one is larger than the other. So um, I, I would just pause the video and try this out on your own and then press play when you're ready to talk about it. Okay, so, so there are so many ways to compare fractions. Um, in the first one, I think it's set up nicely because the numerators are equal and the denominators are different. So if your numerators are equal, or your denominators, the bottom numbers are equal, fractions are fairly easy to compare. What do I mean? Well, let's say we have um, a square, right? And I say, well, find 3 fourths. Well, what I could do is I could split this square up into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Badly drawn by me. Each piece should be equal. Sorry about that. But three fourths would be um, three, one, two, three out of four pieces. Now let's say I took the same rectangle, or almost square in this case, and I cut it up into fifths. Um, so this, let me let me fix that. Um, here, if I cut this rectangle up into fifths, try to make it the same size. Okay. What's going to happen? Well, if I cut up into fifths. I'm going to get smaller pieces. Two, three, four, five. So having three fifths, if you color in three fifths, you can see here, is going to be less than three fourths. And the, you don't have to draw a picture every time. You could just think, well, the more pieces I cut up a shape into, in other words, if I cut up five pieces instead of four, if all the pieces are equal, the more pieces I cut it into, the smaller each piece. So if I had three sixths, that would be even less. So three sevenths, that would be even smaller. The more pieces you cut up, the smaller it gets. So three fourths must be bigger than three fifths. So if you have equal numerators, excuse me, just look at the denominators. In this case, the smaller denominator, four, gets you a larger value. All right. So the next one, all right, I want to use my, my wishful thinking strategy that I've heard from James Tanton here. And I'm thinking, oh, these are both over one, right? Three over two and seven over six. Wouldn't it be nice? I wish the denominators were equal. So let's make that happen, right? If this two was a six, so let's multiply it by three, three over three, because you want to scale up the whole fraction, what would we get? Well, three times three is nine, and three times two is six. So here, that means three over two is the same as nine over six. We scaled it up, and now we have equal denominators. Now it's easier to compare. Nine six is larger because if you have sixths, if you have nine of them, so this is saying you have nine one sixths, that must be larger than seven one sixths. So this is a larger fraction. In the next one, um, so here, let's use some wishful thinking again. Um, and in this case, before I try to get equal numerators or denominators, I notice, for example, eight and 12 are both even. And I notice that six and nine are both divisible by three. So I'm going to scale these fractions down. I'm going to divide 8 and 12 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we're dividing by 2 here. Instead of multiplying the, the fraction up like we did before, now we're dividing it by 2. Each part, top and bottom, by 2. And then let's divide 6 and 9 by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Right. So divide by 3, divide three. Now this is a little bit easier to compare. And there's lots of ways to go from here. Four over six, I mean, I could divide four and six by two and two again to get two over three. Right? Four divided by two again, just scaling the fraction down. And six divided by two is three. I can see, oh, that equals two thirds. These are equal fractions. Another way I could have say, taken two thirds and say, all right, I really wish my denominators were equal in both six. So I could double two and double three. Here the wishful thinking for me was to get the uh, denominators equal, but also the numerators are equal, so the fractions are equal. All right, so this last fraction is a little bit trickier, and you can't just compare it straight away. It, there's too much difference in it, so we have to use some wishful thinking. So the wishful thinking might be to get the numerators or the denominators equal. I'm going to get the denominators equal. These are bigger fractions, and it's just easier for my brain to picture. So 11 and 10, if I just, to get an equal denominator, I can multiply 11 by 10, 
and 10 by 10 to scale this fraction up. It's 100 over 110. And here I can multiply both by 10. Excuse me, both by 11, what am I saying? I want to multiply each fraction by the other denominator. So here I can multiply by 11 and 11 to get 99 over 110. Okay, so now that the denominators are equal, these are one-tenths. I'd rather have 100 110ths than 99 110ths. So this is the bigger fraction. All right, hope this helped.